The legislation refers to um, business being carried on, and that generally means um, a general fraudulent conduct of business rather than specific transactions. Um, in other words, not every fraud or fraudulent misrepresentation will amount to fraudulent trading. That was expressed quite evocatively, I think, um, by the judge in um, in Marie Murray Watson Limited. This was a case uh, involving a, a, a used car dealer, perhaps um, an unsurprising candidate um, as a respondent for a uh, fraudulent trading claim. But the judge in that case said uh, that the director of a company dealing in second-hand motor cars who willfully misrepresents the age and capabilities of a vehicle is no doubt a fraudulent rascal. But I do not think he can, said to be, he can be said to be carrying on the company's business for a fraudulent purpose, although no doubt he carries on a particular business transaction in a fraudulent manner. So the loss to HMRC in the dirty chains um, was some £750,000. I won't go into detail um, about the chains, but um, they, they did contain all the hallmarks of empty fraud. Um, the director did allege um, that there was not sufficient evidence to show empty fraud. Um, but he didn't dispute the evidence that was available and he didn't really put any um, any other positive case forward on that front. So it was fairly straightforward uh, for the judge to find that the chains were empty fraud. Um, empty fraud is very well established at law and it's uh, an established fraud. So once uh, it was established that the chains were there um, to defraud, uh, were obviously empty fraud chains, the fraudulent purpose really wasn't an issue. So element one of fraudulent trading was was not really controversial in that case. So that returns us to the question of knowing every detail of the fraud um, in an MTIC context. And that Western Builder established that it's not necessary to know the, def the default in an MTIC case to establish dishonesty, provided that they were aware of the general scheme. That would be sufficient um, for a finding of dishonesty uh, of, a, of a company involved in an MTIC fraud chain. Furthermore, other MTIC cases, um, again, not, uh, not fraudulent trading ones, um, have found that when dealing with knowledge uh, and the test uh, for the test for dishonesty, um, that it will be sufficient if on the facts available, the trader knew of the scheme or ought to have known of the scheme with the, with the information that they were in possession of. So the bar is therefore even lower um, than, than it might appear at the time um, with empty fraud. 